Today is August 30th, 2023. And um, it is a Wednesday. And this is the year where dramatic change was prayed for. As the past two years have become quite painful and for the past couple weeks I've finally transitioned my trading to the next level meaning when I enter a trade I automatically set the stop loss because why because I know that my current stock picking capability is very low and so so I need it because I know what's going to happen most of the time. <laughs> I know what's going to happen most of the time when I enter a trade. It's going to go against me. And so what I need to do is set my stop loss so that it just takes away those most cases when I lose. The other part is now I'm uh, fine-tuning. Picking, picking, I'm, I was looking through, I was reviewing two years of data. For me, it required two years of data to be convinced. Like in the Bible, there's a guy named Peter, right? He says, and Jesus Christ shows up next to him and says, why, why don't you fully believe? Uh, you're the kind of, is it doubting Thomas or whoever it is? But uh, <clears throat> he was standing next to Peter and uh, Peter says, look, put your finger in my ribs, right? <laughs> So the reality is, it, take, it took me about two years of uh, data suffering through and uh, analyzing, finally, about a, week, a couple of weeks ago, of analyzing my data. I was looking at the data, but I, I was unable to see what the data was telling me. Then my data was telling me, look, you, on the periods that you were using the stop loss, you were losing less. Sure, sure, you were losing, but you were losing less. And then... Recently, like yesterday, I realized that, well, there's, in addition to the stop losses, I could set the stop loss, but if I immediately get went back in, it's going to cause a greater amount of failure, uh, uh, loss. And so, what I realized is that, sure, I'll set it that way, but what I need to do is uh, make sure that I don't re-enter on the, on the same false pretense that the thesis is correct based on price and so so what I have been doing for the past quite a while but I was in in a short period of time I would use setup to enter because I would be I would be clear-minded my mind was clear and I was thinking okay that's what I need to do and that's what I'm going to do and that's what I did for a short short burst of time and my the application of the stop loss and combination of that stop loss and and using the setups to entry uh, and, and that proved to be a the right combination. On the other hand, if I was just looking at the price and and the price moved, and I'm always thinking reversion mode because I'm not thinking in a setup mode where if the stock moved so much based on what the chart pattern is telling me. <clears throat> Does it have more room to move in that direction? And the chart will show me. The levels and the, sh the chart will show me. Not the price. Okay, The, 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 the setup will show me uh, with a higher probability. Instead of just, instead of just saying, okay, it dropped. It's, uh, it's got to go back up. That's, that's, that was the way that I've been trading for the past couple of years. I didn't even realize that. Because what it was doing was giving me that morphine drip of gambling, of like the emotional roller coaster ride, like uh, Kitchen Nightmare by uh, Gordon uh, Ramsay, right? So they, TV loves drama. That's that's what they love. Action, action adventure. That's why I call it action adventure. If the movie is about just a robot just sitting there for two hours, doing nothing, or a blank screen, then <laughs> why watch it, right? You'd be looking at the wall and let your imaginations run. And I realized that trading setup 
especially especially when a stock does this okay stock goes up tapers while and dips a little bit and then it reaches a point where there's support and when it breaks that support downwards then there's a higher probability not not certain but there's a higher probability like this morning on uh, Boeing so what it did was it 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 went up had a had a uh, range bound and then started to dip and then right at the right at the uh, support area it dipped and so it dipped tremendously and then it and it sp started to f uh, spike back up all the way back up to where the support was and which is essentially became resistance then i noticed that it created what's called a lower high okay separated by that spike and then sure enough later towards down to the end, end of the day it started to dip as well and so that is trading the setup instead of looking at the price and saying okay so it it went up so much it's gonna it's gonna reverse right i, ca I can't do that because like yesterday it was trending and that was the issue for me and as long as i'm um trading trade the setup trade the setup